So Conor McGregor, the notorious one, the most famous UFC fighter in the world. Let's see if his tattoos are just as notorious as he is. We're gonna be critiquing them from the content of the tattoo, the placement, and the quality. Let's get into it. Starting off with the first tattoo he got, it's an Arabic writing on his bottom ankle. He says he doesn't even know why he got it. He got it when he was younger, 20 bucks while he was drunk. He doesn't even know what it means. I couldn't figure out what it meant. I don't speak Arabic. Um, the tattoo was done well. Placement, I'm gonna give it a solid like eight out of 10. Quality, eight out of 10. The content, I'd give it probably like a two out of 10 since he doesn't even know what it means. His second tattoo he got was a cross with the wings in the back of his neck. And this tattoo is very iconic. I couldn't get the best pictures of it. So I would give the quality of maybe like two out of 10. I think the placement, I give it a solid, maybe like nine out of 10. I think it's really cool, symmetrical. It's high enough where you can see it with the shirt on. And then the overall content, maybe like a five out of 10. Going into the third tattoo, it's actually connected to a second one on his spine which is very visible when he fights so that's the one i remember the most when he before he got like a bunch of tattoos is basically like the wings and then going down i thought it was like one big tattoo but it seems like it was two separate ones it's basically jesus's thorns like on his head but like undone i think it's another one of those placements where it makes sense it's symmetrical down his back so aesthetically from far it looks good it looks like it was a reason why he put it there so placement i give it a solid eight out of 10. I think the quality of it is probably like three out of 10. There's not much detail. And as far as the content goes, I give it like a four out of 10. All right, so this is the craziest, most iconic tattoo he has. And it's number four. It is the insane gorilla with the crown eating a freaking heart. It's done in like a traditional style tattoo. I actually really like it. I'm not the biggest fan of traditional tattoos in general. I think they're kind of like sticker off the wall kind of vibe. It's unique. It, it was made for him. It wasn't just off the wall. Literally, I would give the placement probably a 10 out of 10. It fits his chest really well and it's not even like fully symmetrical. The way it fits on his chest and the way it's like tapering out and it doesn't look so harsh on any angle is a plus. I think placement is amazing. And the fact that his chest tattoo creeps up to his neck was like insane. I'm super curious on if it was the tattoo artist who had that idea or it was Connor himself who was like, I also wanted to like spill over onto my neck because that is dope. Quality of the tattoo, it's a 10 out of 10. You couldn't get better as far as like traditional goes. It's not confusing, it's solid, the lines are good, the colors are good. Content wise, I have to give it a 10 out of 10. Like this tattoo is dope. This is like one of the coolest, most iconic like celebrity tattoos that I've seen. Maybe I'm biased because I'm a UFC fan and a Connor uh, fan as well, but like it is dope. The meaning behind it was just the logo and representation of himself and this like logo of the gym. So going into his fifth tattoo, I'm gonna bundle all of his like lower left arm tattoos into one. And it starts off with like a rose with leaves and a clock in the middle with a time that says 335. I couldn't figure out what that time was or the significance of it. I'm sure that has to do with something with maybe his wife or I don't think he had kids at that time when he got it, but that could be it as well. I've never done a clock without putting like a significant time. That's usually why people get it. So then it goes into his forearm, which is like a symmetrical like blade going through a rose, which I think the rose should have matched the ones that were on the clock, but it doesn't. So I'm assuming there's two different artists that did it. And then it goes into this like guy with like a top hat, which is like kind of like the old school, like fighter guy um, with also like boxing gloves. So I think it's just like that old school, like London movie, Sherlock Holmes kind of vibe, uh, like boxer guy, I guess. As far as placement goes, I'd give it maybe like a six out of 10. They're kind of like scattered, but maybe that's just kind of how traditional stuff's supposed to be. I think the placement of the man with the top hat on the outside is a good idea because it's facing a, a direction and not being like a symmetrical thing, which usually looks better on forearms. Quality, you know, I'd probably give it like eight out of 10, solid line, solid color, not confusing. Um, so overall content, I'd probably give it 
maybe like a seven out of 10. I think each one's pretty cool on their own. So that's usually a good sign that all together they're even gonna be better. I'm not sure if he's ever gonna go up. That'd be cool to see him with the sleeve, but it seems like he's kind of like slowed down on getting that sleeve. Going into his thick tattoo, which I separated because it just looks so much different than his other tattoos, which is gonna be this saying that he got, which is slow is smooth smooth is fast and it seems that in my research it's kind of like a navy saying to me when i saw that it was kind of more like a bruce lee like become the water kind of fighting related like saying that he liked which i think is dope i think the quality of it i'd give it like an eight out of ten the content of it eight out of ten super dope saying it looks really cool i like how like the words are a little bit different it's not just like a black and white like stamp it has like character to it and as far as placement goes, I mean, he's already starting his sleeve. So I think it fit really good in that little space right there. I'm assuming he got it after all the other stuff um, because it isn't straight on his forearm. It looks like a little bit off to like the left of the sword. So you can, I can kind of assume that he got that after the other ones. So I think as far as placement goes, it, it was a good little filler in that area. So solid tattoo, dope meaning. And yeah, give that one a W. Going into his seventh tattoo, it is the tiger on his stomach, which is a pretty crazy tattoo to get. If it came to me, I literally would have been like, it's not gonna match. We could have done like a lot more blacks in it. We could have made it kind of match the top and made this whole entire like chest to stomach to his writing like really cohesive instead of it looks, it looks done separately. Like it looks, everything looks not cohesive basically but he basically got it because it's a courageous animal and he studies movements of animals incorporating their style of attacking in his training i think tigers are a sick tattoo i have a big ass tiger growling on my back um definitely is more of like yeah spirit animal vibe which is crazy because he got the gorilla eating the freaking art and then also the tiger so maybe he was just trying to like fill up area i probably could have lived without him getting that style on his stomach separately but quality i'd probably give it like a four out of ten when i look at it from far i can't really see what's going on with like the edges of it placement it's symmetrical it's symmetrical on his stomach so placement i'd give it probably like a six out of ten the content of it probably like a seven out of ten so connor's eighth and final tattoo it's his name uh above the tiger and notorious which is his nickname below the tiger I think it's a classic like traditional font that matches his other tattoos. So as far as that goes, I think that looks great. I would give the quality, you know, eight out of 10. I'd give the content probably like a six out of 10. And I'd give the placement probably like an eight out of 10. I think it really filled up the gaps above the tiger. I think it probably could have been filled in a little bit to kind of match the darkness of like the top of it. But then at the same time, the tiger is so light, maybe it would have looked too dark if he did fill it in. But I still probably would have filled it in even if it was like a light gray. So yeah, overall looks pretty dope. Connor's tattoos are insane. Let me know if I was right or if you like them or if they're stupid. I'm really curious on what other people think of his chest tattoo. I definitely remember when he got it, everyone was saying that they didn't like it. I always thought it was super dope. I mean, that thing is iconic. So let me know in the comments below um, if there's any other celebrities or athletes or UFC fighters you want me to critique their tattoos, let me know. But until then, see you next time.